John Dickinson from the 37th district running for position one this, this election. And I have two concerns for the candidates, and uh, yourself especially, but it will determine who I vote for. All right. Okay. Number one question, how do you feel about Initiative 502? 502, I'm in favor of 502. You're in favor of 502. I'm in favor of 502. You won't find many cops that are in favor of 502. And, and but you have to remember, I was a narcotics detective for a long, long time. I remember. Okay. And I remember. I know that the war on drugs hasn't worked. Has it failed? Has it has failed. Shake it out of court, you should, 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 we, should we admit it failed and put an end to it? Well, we should certainly admit it failed. We should figure out another thing, what else we can do with all that money that we spent and are spending now. And I say we put it into treatment programs. If I had a dollar for every person who was on heroin, for example, that I took to jail that begged me to get them into treatment when there was no treatment available, I could fund my own my whole campaign. 502, it's time to let the citizens of Washington State say enough is enough and legalize marijuana and send a message to the federal government that it's time to get marijuana off the Schedule One list. So that's the other half of the question. All right. The other half of the question is is when. Uh, the feds come knocking at the door saying, well, we want you to disobey the citizens of the state of Washington. What do you tell them? The, state, the federal government has concurrent jurisdiction in King County. They can't tell me, they can't tell the local authorities what to do. They can do what they're going to do. They can't tell the local authorities what to do. Sheriff Mack has said that. By the same token, I can't tell them what not to do. They're, they're going to enforce what they're going to enforce as far as the drug laws are concerned. However, I'm convinced that once we legalize marijuana in the state of Washington, we're not going to have a real problem with the federal government over that issue. Okay, can we extend that legalization of this so-called harmless herb to other herbs? Other drugs? Herbs. Herbs. Things that grow in your garden. I don't know why we couldn't. Okay, that would include Jimson weed. Okay. I'm not familiar with that, but I'll take your word for it. Peyote. Okay. Conceivably. Mushrooms that come up out of the grass. Conceivably. But I think, remember, we've got to get the, the citizens to go along with us. Okay. And this has got to be incremental. This is the first step. And this is the step that I think is the right step to take at this point in time. And I'm not going to go very much farther than that right now. Okay. Initiative 502 kept, mm -hmm. keeps throwing more money and more money and more money. It used to be $225 million. Now it's up to $2 billion that, that we can have for general fund and education and all this. Well, conceivably, conceivably, conceivably mm -hmm. if it's legal mm -hmm. and we put an end to the war, mm -hmm. why couldn't the governor, when she leaves, pardon everybody who's in jail at thirty, fifty thousand dollars a year mm -hmm. to the taxpayer? Mm -hmm. And there are probably quite a few thousands of them in jail for marijuana. Why couldn't she pardon those people unilaterally, mm -hmm. complete pardon, mm -hmm. and then uh, they're, 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 Hundreds of millions of dollars can immediately be put into drug and all these other things. Presumably, she could. Okay. But she and I have a deal. I don't tell her how to run her business. She doesn't tell me how to run mine. Okay. Number two. You already went to number two. This is actually number no, three or number is, this four. No, this is a third, third extension to number one. All right. Number two is a totally different subject. Okay. But it's very dear to my heart. All right. You were and one of.